And most people have put them together. So as they put the righteousness of God and he put all the works together and they say, now this is one. No, they're totally separate. That's what we have to understand as Christians. That only Jesus, only his blood, only what he did can make anyone right. So it doesn't, it doesn't involve what we do. It's, it's what we do not have anything to do with it. Well, not as far as the righteousness of God is concerned. But our walk with God, our pleasing God, our doing what's right before, the, before God Almighty, it does have everything to do with that. But not with the righteousness that comes by Jesus. That is the difference. Because see, the Bible says we're saved by grace through faith. By grace, that's what God has done, isn't it? Isn't grace everything God is? Everything God has done, that's grace. So he did that for us. And, but to enter into that and, to, and for that grace of God to be applied to me, you know, there's going to be, there's been millions, I guess, of people that have lived and died that never experienced the grace of God. Even though it was there for them all their whole lifetime. Some lived many years. And they never, they, 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 Jesus would come and knock on the door and grace would come and truth would come and they'd say, not today. They'd say, no, not today. Maybe tomorrow. And the devil would lie to them and say, it's all right. Just go ahead and have all the fun that you can have and live like you want to live and be like you want to do. And right at the very end, you can ask the Lord to come in. And he'll come in. Well, you know what? After a while, people would get so blinded that sometimes they would even lay on their deathbed and die. You hear what I'm saying? They would lay on their deathbed and die and never ask Jesus to come into their heart because their heart got so hardened and their eyes got so blinded that they wouldn't ask Jesus to save them. Amen. And died and went on. Had to go to hell. And there's the grace of God all their whole lifetime. Said, I'll save you. I'll give you my righteousness. I'll make you right if you'll believe on me. Jesus would say. Even though you've lived a whole life of sin and heartache and just everything under the sun, he said, I'll make you right. You'll stand in the presence of God right where you are in this earth, but you'll be right. Right standing. That's what he does for us. <clears throat> now some people don't, some people thinking, well, you know, it's, it's my hair do, it's my dress do, it's all my do's. And come right down to it, it's not any of those do's. Amen. No, and so you can't, listen, you can't, you can't make these one. You have to keep them separated. You can't take all your living right and think that makes you right. You can't. If you do that, you're going to be wrong, I'm telling you. If the best you can do, all the rights you can do, that won't make you right with God. We have to understand that. This stuff's not been preached like it ought to be. And, and therefore, people don't understand, and the preacher will beat you up real good. So maybe I've done the same thing, beat you real good, you know, and tell you, you know, you better be doing what's right. Of course we're supposed to be doing what's right. But we've made them one. They're not one. They're two separate things. Are you listening? Does this make it, does, does, does this, is this registering with you? So the only thing in this life, the only thing in this life that can make you right with God is the righteousness that comes by Jesus Christ. Now, am I supposed to live right? Yes. But then, when I'm right with God, I can live right now. Amen. Now I can go do something good. My heart's right. I'm in right standing with God. I'm not trying now to just do good things to get favor with God and be right in His sight. That's taken away from Jesus. That's taken away from everything He's done. And sometimes people don't understand it, but that's what's happening. You're taken away from Him. We can't do that. And somebody says, well, you know, if, if God was going to heal anybody, he'd have healed my grandma. 
She's a good woman. I don't doubt your grandma, and mine too was a good woman. And sometimes anybody can be a good person and, and miss healing. God don't heal people based on being a good person. That's like God don't save people based on being a good person. He'll save the most vilest sinner in the, that there is. Paul, the apostle Paul being, being the, uh, the example of all. Amen. Amen. Now I tell you what, you let somebody come into the church today and kill a bunch of Christians, just kill them, murder them, and then, and then you see them at the altar repenting, you'd say, what would you do? You'd say, I'll tell you what, I don't know about this. Huh? And then he's wanting to preach the gospel, the uh, people that he killed. Well, that's, that's, you know, that's pretty extreme, isn't it? But that's what happened. 